before you say anything, yes, I am still wearing the same clothes as yesterday. And that's because I did laundry or they're doing laundry for me and all my clothes are dirty. So don't judge me. Um, also don't judge me because I didn't get up for sunrise this morning, but I really haven't been sleeping a lot lately. So I thought it was better to, to sleep in a little bit and get a later jump on the day. I'm gonna walk into town, grab some breakfast, and then I've got a full day of exploration coming up. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. That breakfast was legit, so good, so good. And you can't judge me for not eating locally when there's homemade banana pancakes on the menu, you just order them, that's the rule. The plan of the day here in Sagata was to get an early start, a jump on tourists, photograph sunrise, and then be done shooting by like nine in the morning or eight in the morning, and that just didn't happen. It's already nine in the morning now. Um, so flipping the script a little bit, and I'm gonna go photo location scout a little bit. Got a bunch of gear on the back, including the drone. I'm going to start by heading to a place called the Echo Valley, and that's where the hanging coffins are. Okay, so I'm here at uh, Echo Valley, the hanging cabins. This is my guide. What's your name? Uh, Ago. Ago. How far of a walk is it? It's uh, more than 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. Yeah. I think I can handle that. It's a requirement to have a guide to come into the hanging coffins. It's a couple places you can go in the area without a guide, but a lot of them you do need a guide and you do need to register an environmental fee as a tourist whenever you come in here. So let's go check this place out. Oh, I'm out of shape. <sighs> So there are many, many hanging coffins, but it's not accessible for the tourist spot. I asked the guide why the hanging coffins are so small, and I fully expected him to answer that Filipinos are just really small people. But I guess the real reason is that they buried them in fetal position. I'm off to location number two, which is a tiny waterfall here called Bokong Falls. And maybe not to shoot pictures there, but just to location scout it, see if it'll make a cool sunset or sunrise spot but I'm expecting it to be busy because it's a waterfall and waterfalls are always busy. So let's hike that way now and check it out. Getting back to the hanging coffins a little bit and the need to have a guide there. One, I hate it when you need a guide to go into places. I like to have my freedom. But on the other hand, it's a great way of putting money into the local economy. It's only like four bucks, so it's not a big deal. And three, and the main reason they do it there is to protect the local environment. And that might sound crazy, but with all the stupid and destructive things people have been doing lately, you know, for a cool photo, I can totally imagine somebody up on those hanging coffins for a photo and totally destroying it. So maybe it's totally justified. Now I'm halfway done the hike to Bokong Falls and I'm in the middle of some rice terraces. How cool is this? I made it to the falls right there. As expected, there's a couple people here, but not as many as I thought there would be. I thought it'd be packed. So I'm gonna unpack the camera and maybe take a couple photos just to see what it looks like.
it was a fun spot and I'm done there. Lunch time now, so I'm gonna head back into town. The reason the vlogs have been a little bit late recently is because the internet here in Sagata has been terrible. Even the data, as soon as I get off the main road, there's no data, I have nothing. So it's been a bit of a challenge. They finally installed Wi-Fi here at the hotel yesterday night, but it doesn't reach all parts of my room. And this is what I have to do. So the only place the Wi-Fi reaches is if my, my computer's right there stuffed in a corner. So it's uploading a video now. It's at 29%. It's been uploading for two and a half hours, so um, it might be a while before you guys see this video. The weather's been a bit funky all day today. It's been a little bit drizzly, a little bit cloudy, and so uh, I've kind of just been hanging out. And now it's getting close to sunset. It's almost four o'clock, and I'm going to climb a mountain. I think it's called Kiltapan, something like that. And they say it's about an hour and a half walk from here, so hopefully the weather's better by then. Well, I made it to the peak. As you can see, you can't see anything at all. It took me a full hour and a half to get here, maybe even a little bit more, and I don't know what to do anymore. I do not think this is gonna clear, but you never know here in the cloud forest. One minute can be like this, the next minute it can clear up. So maybe I'll hang out here for like five, 10 minutes, maybe a half an hour, see what happens with the weather. And if not, it'll be a second day of making lemonade which basically means trying to get photos even though the weather and the location isn't cooperating, so. Yeah. The hardest thing about being a daily vlogger isn't the shooting, it isn't the editing, it isn't the climbing of mountains and doing fun things every day. That's the easy part. The hard part is finding internet and finding reliable internet when you're traveling, when you're out on the road. And I'm struggling with that right now. So these videos are probably a day, maybe two, maybe three days late. I don't know, because I don't know when I'll be able to get these online. So sorry about that. Uh, I'm down from the mountain, as you can see, back in my hotel room here. Um, and I'm leaving my bags packed because I'm gonna wake up at sunrise or way before sunrise, I guess, to hike back up the hill for, for sunset. Um, remind me next time I'm in Sagata to rent a motorbike because I don't know why I'm walking around so much. The app I have on my phone says I walked like 25,000 steps today, which is way too many, way too many steps for one human being. So I'm going to bed now, leaving the bags packed, and I'll see you guys in the morning for that sunrise. Peace.